the reigning, defending, undefeated WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Devin Alexander. We want a good, clean bout. Welcome to Michigan. Thank this you. is for all the marbles. Touch them up. Come out at the bell. God bless you. When I asked them... It now appears Manny Pacquiao will never fight at 140 pounds again. A habit of in being involved in accidental headbutt incidents. Uh, button people, and usually he ends up coming out on the better side of it without getting cut. Uh, I think that Bradley's trying to gradually get to him and start banging him to the body. That's what he's intending to do. That we can document Bradley opponents wound up with cuts. I have fast hands, but I'm not going to be moving around and running from anyone. Good right hook. So, so that means Devin Alexander. Good fight. And, and Bradley's close, closing again. There's an all-out assault from Bradley, and a lot of people think Alexander may find an opportunity. As long as he doesn't walk into something, though, by being the aggressor. And again, I wonder if Alexander's going to be able to take advantage of that. Alexander fainting. Bradley firing with both hands. Bradley very patiently picking his punches, coming in. Bad to Sam. Alexander got in a couple of body shots in return. Well, Alexander could count him. He waits till he gets very close before he punches. That, that's the kind of fighter he is. First round was nearly even in CompuBox numbers. That will be close and difficult to score. Bradley momentarily off balance. Backs up again. Bradley goes forward, hammering him with the right hand. Body shot by Bradley. Than Hearns was by the entire Office city of Come Detroit. On, Alexander landed more punches. Again, hard to score. Hard left hook by Bradley. Knocks Alexander back into the ropes. He gets right in the chest of Devon and Alexander before he punches. All the fights and fights and fights. Depending on the coach, anyone, just a strong person himself. And right now, he's actually forcing his will right let now. Go. Let, let it go. Let it go, Devin. Step back. Step back. Step back. Step back. And now Alexander. Alexander's the boxer. Bradley's the puncher. And that's all there is to it. Devin Alexander, I thought, one uh, round two. One right jab and grab it. Bradley, on the other hand, laid the real nice shots. Yes. Alexander might conceivably sneak a punch okay, in. Right, right. Bradley crabs and gets right on top of you when he punches him. Good right hook by Alexander. At the amount of body torque that Hearns, now retired of course, and what as we call it, there's never any commitment on the punches. They just, the trainers are meeting the punches halfway, slapping them back, and the fighters are therefore not punching with full power. Pivoting the body, whether it's a golf swing, whether it's... Okay. Passed him back into the ropes with a straight right hand. That standard physical equation by which a conventional fighter can hit the southpaw right up the middle with the right hand is working for Bradley now. Alexander is maybe landing the punches, but the real, but his punches are more like to the professional fight now. Trail pounds, it makes a difference. But I tell you what, oh yeah. In the first couple of rounds. Accidental butt and the cut over the eye. Then you'll realize that it's the other way around. But that's what makes good fights when you have good fighters who, once they feel that they may lose, they... In which Alexander looks more comfortable. Or is it just going to be one guy going at a time? Let go. 15 of 61 for Alexander, but of course, with many judges. Fighters are landing anything effective or not. Good straight right hand up the pipe again by Bradley. Alexander seemed to have tightened that head, defense up in the last round. When some ringside experts were just a low number. Tonight, he's landing 18% of his jabs. Well, they're both fighting the best fighter we think that they've ever faced. We'll see what a truth comes out of that. The skill, the speed, and the okay, mindset right, of the two fighters. best shot of the fight. It's a whole different thing. You know, that's what makes Maidana what he is. Well, he would hit you with two or three right after it. 
at supreme condition. Whether we get some, they are doing their best. And he always scores with overhand rights and okay, overhand back, lefts that I've seen. I mean, the guy really does all his damage coming over the top. Clever and quick and sees most things coming. Get your jab going up and down. Most of the goals are slip or partially block. Yeah, I don't know, it's hard. I, it could score could be the same score could be for the other opponent. Okay, good left okay. hand. And close to one minute removed from what I thought was Bradley's last round. His hands are so fast, it almost looks like he's coming back with the punch. Fight Amir Khan in the summer. If, okay. or if neither of the two fighters here is invited to fight Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao, for which they have contract. Because of the speed, the spiel, and the determination that they both have. Yep. Well, they certainly outnumber the Bradley Rooters at ringside because, as you know... I was talking about the fighting. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay. Uh, in controlling Jim, the cut. Jim Strickland, one of the best cut guys in boxing. Worked with a lot of other top fighters. Another hard right hand for Bradley. See, why are you see the same thing? As soon as Bradley lands something... Okay, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Come on, come on, come on. Putting a little bit more Dijon mustard on those punches. Hard right hand by Bradley. His greatest concern is he's going to try to hit you with his fists. He's usually taller than he is. As was the case for Holyfield, of course, in the yeah, heavyweight yes. division. Yeah, so you have to bend down and just squat before you punch. Oh. Unhooking. There's a small mouse now outside the left eye of Bradley. And he landed the first uppercut I've seen in the fight. Devin Alexander's uppercuts are okay. weapons. Punch and landed consistent in the fight here. Right hand for Bradley. Cut the ring down more and more and more, and I think as the fight goes on. Neither fighter has ever scored a knockout past the, uh, the ninth round. As they say, they're not looking to. Harold, how do you have it? 3-9. Uh, okay, Jim. 87, 84. I thought in rounds 2, 5, and 7, Devin Alexander boxed nicely in one of those rounds by going to the left all night long, just the way Timothy Bradley wants him to, so Bradley can land the right hand. 6-3, to three, Bradley. Oh, back, back. Time, time. And their heads come together yet again. Accidental headbutt. We're going to the technical rule. We're going to the scorecard. Okay? All right. And now the unified champion, Timothy Desert Storm!